This small ball of fuzz you see scampering across is a big deal for wildlife experts. That little beaver, boom, 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 went down there. Okay. In August, Bill Lycombe said one of his trail cameras near Matadero Creek in Palo Alto captured a baby beaver. For this area, there have not been any beavers in this particular Matadero Creek for over 160 years. Experts say the industrial fur trade pushed the population to near extinction. To see the beaver come back on its own is a huge moment. That was a trek to get there. Those beavers were looking for new habitat. They were looking for a new place to settle down and they found it somewhere that they probably haven't been for 200 plus years, which is just a huge moment for you know ecological restoration and bringing back a pretty awesome species to the bay. Beavers offer a slew of benefits to other animals and humans. So beaver ponds and the wetlands that they build are hot spots of biodiversity. They're uniquely resistant to droughts and to wildfires, and they can help take the power out of flood waves so that when we have these big atmospheric rivers and other kinds of storm events, it's not so destructive downstream. Since beavers travel upstream, Dr. Rick Landman has an idea of where they could head next. San Francisco Creek is unique in the South Bay because it's not concrete, it's natural. So it could provide a corridor for beaver to get from this baylands to the uplands, which is where we need them to get to to fight fires for us, right? Last year, Bill Lycombe said his trail cameras captured a pair of beavers. While there's no confirmation they produced offspring, the video of the young beaver is offering researchers hope for their future. It's exciting. It's part of the reason why I do all this. This animal has been here before, but it's been so long and it's finally back. It's not that they're moving into California or moving into the Bay for the first time. Like the beaver's coming home. In the South Bay, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.